to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda, and welcome to my next 24 Days of Beauty countdown series. This is a series that I do on my channel where I post a new look to go along with the NYX advent calendar every single day with the product of the day. Today's look is celebrating... No. No, no one celebrates final season. Um, hmm. Today's look is morning final season and how you can still look good so you feel good and you do good on your finals. And today we're using day nine's product. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I get ready for my finals so it doesn't take you too, too long in the morning to get ready but you still look good and you're ready for your exams. If you guys are not part of my lovely little family already and you'd like to join, I would love to have you. You can subscribe by clicking that button down below and you can also follow me on Instagram at AmandaLouiseYT or Twitter or Dope. Check me out on all of them. On Instagram, I go live all the time. I comment back to you guys. I try to answer as many DMs as I possibly can. Repost you if you post me in your story. But really, I would love to have you in part of my lovely little family. And if you guys are struggling through final season with me right now and you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Your girl just had a pizza and we are feeling good, okay? Let's get started. <laughs> So I'm just gonna be walking you guys through an everyday lazy face routine where you wanna look kinda put together but nothing too crazy. During finals week, everyone, at least everyone I know, is really stressed out. So stress often leads me to break out anyway, so we wanna take super good care of your face. Skincare is so important during all of these stressful times of your life. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of my must-have skincare products. I always like to start out with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. This contains aloe, which is very refreshing to your skin. I get really dry skin, especially in the winter time, so this keeps my skin nice and fresh, and it really wakes you up in the morning. The next two products I've been loving were sent to me, but I seriously really, really love them. The only reason I'm telling you they were sent to me is because they're a little bit more expensive, so I hate recommending things that are super expensive to you guys, but I do really love these, like genuinely love them. So if you're in the market for a good product like this, I definitely recommend these two. They're kind of a little set. The first one is this Youth Activating Color concentrate by Lancome and then the second one is the matching eye cream shout out to the girl who told me it was eye cream <laughs> instead of face cream because I'm an idiot I was like okay and here's the matching lotion and like putting it all over my face she was like just so you know that means eye in like French or something and I was like oh <laughs> good so I'm gonna go ahead and put this eye cream on And then I'm going to go in with the Youth Activating Serum as well. During the season when our faces are all freaking out, it's really important to keep a light amount of makeup on it or no makeup at all. If you guys have watched me for a while, you know that it's like semi-impossible for me to go out of my house without makeup on. Something I need to work on, I understand. I'm just so not used to seeing myself like without makeup in a public setting. I know that sounds stupid, but it's just how I am. So I do wear makeup on an everyday basis, basically no matter what. During the school season, I like to have my eyelash extensions done so that I can literally just like get up and go in the morning and I feel good. When my lashes are done, I feel good. When I don't have them done, like right now, I do tend to wear fake lashes on an everyday basis, but that's strictly because I've worn them for the past like six years and it's just second nature for me to like throw them on and go out the door. It doesn't take me a long time to get them on or anything. So obviously that's not gonna be for everyone and that'll be later on in the video. I'm getting ahead of myself, but just wanted to throw that out there. So starting off with the face, if I have a self tan on, I usually will not put anything on my face because my face gets slightly darker. However, my self tan lasts for about five hours on my face. So I either like to use a BB cream or a light foundation. The two that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today are the CoverGirl BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer. <laughs> my friends just sent a picture to me with them and my mom. <laughs> That's really funny. If my face is like pretty clear like how it is now, I do have some discoloration, just like some little like reddish patches. Honestly, I don't know when that started, if I've always had it or what. Probably because I wear makeup on an everyday basis. I'm gonna show you guys what this would look like just using the BB cream. 
and I might just stick to using this. It's honestly just like so light and nice. It has like slim to no coverage. However, I find the reason that I do wear makeup on an everyday basis is not for the full coverage. It's strictly for the coloring because I'm just simply not happy when I'm pale, which is um, the majority of the time. <laughs> So like I said, this is like so light and like honestly just feels like you put moisturizer on because technically you kind of did. So this is how my face looks with the tinted moisturizer. It Moisturizer. This is how my face looks with the tinted moisturizer. It kind of just adds like a glowiness and like a little bit of a darker tint to my face. Obviously this is perfect for finals week, but because I'm so extra, I usually wouldn't go out of the house with just this. I know. I hate myself too. I'm also going to show you guys a foundation that I really love. This has never given my skin a problem literally ever. This is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation and this has hydrating serum in it and I totally believe that it does because it does not dry out my skin when I use it. So um, I can't get the packaging off of this so I'm literally, I've just been going like this. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, I'm sure you've seen it. This is like the only foundation also that matches my skin which I love because I have been queen of never matching foundation for my entire life and um, so the fact that this does is just so nice. Um, so basically you just spackle your face and um, we're done. So I'm going to go ahead in and just blend this out. Yes I put foundation on my eyelids, let's not talk about it, okay? This foundation to me honestly feels comparable to the BB cream. It's so not heavy, feels very moisturizing. Like I said before, I'm a huge fan of it. And it doesn't look like I have a completely different face. So right now it's a little bit lighter than the rest of me, but we're gonna, we're fine. It matches my face. <laughs> I never used to use setting powder before up until like a, maybe a year, two years-ish ago. And I'm just genuinely confused how I never used it before because right now, um, like I said, it doesn't feel heavy, but like I just feel like wet. And so, um, we're gonna go ahead and put some setting powder on. That's a lot of setting powder. So I am using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I am just blooping this all over my face. Blooping is a new verb, um, in case you guys have not been introduced to it yet. On days like this, I won't like conceal anything because honestly that's when my face needs to breathe the most. So I won't go in with like any contour, or, like concealer, highlighter, and any of that stuff. This is just like the bare minimum, like get yourself looking like you're put together and that's, that's it. And for my powder I use the JH01 brush. Now I'm going to be going in and just adding the slightest bit of color ever by using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I am taking this on my Sigma Large Powder F20 brush and I am simply going to just do it. <laughs> I'm just bronzing where I would have contoured um, but very like messily. Like I literally just want to like add some color into my face. If you guys are into bronzer, I think blush really helps add some color in as well. So I am just going to be tapping a little bit into the apples of my cheeks. Kind of just add some life into your face because during final season you're dead so like you trick everyone. <laughs> and I just took the Milani Baked Blush in the color 5 Luminoso on my Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. Next we're going to do brows. And again, nothing crazy here. You can simply just brush out your brows. I love this e.l.f. brow gel, but I'm completely out of it. So we're just going to act out what it would look like if I had any. So basically, it just looks like my brows are brushed out. But it like keeps them in place a little. But this is so dry because there's no products left in it. So 
if you're like me and do your brows on an everyday basis and you want to add like a little bit of color, say like your hair's a little bit darker than your natural brow color, you want to add a little sun sun. I love this Benefit um, Brow. See, it wore off and I'm forgetting what it's called. Brow gel. And I just go in the outer part of my brow here to darken it up a little bit. I always start in the outer part because there's more product on it at the start and you want the outer part to be a little darker. Then when the brush is basically dry, I just go into the inner part of my brow. And voila, it just adds like a little bit of like a color difference and it looks a little bit more, a little more put in place. So now we're gonna go on to the eyes. Eyeshadow was just not happening during finals week, um, so it's canceled. I'm a big lash girl, so that's why I usually wear my fake lashes daily or I have lash extensions, but that's just not realistic for everyone else, so I am gonna try to go outside of my comfort zone today. My lashes are a disaster right now because I just ripped off my lash extensions and half of my real lashes, so. We're not thriving, they're not thriving. It's finals week, no one's thriving. So we're gonna try our best to make them look semi-presentable. I'm gonna go in with a lash curler. These terrify me because they've ripped down my eyelashes so many times, but here we go, this is for you guys. For finals week. Oh. okay. You didn't take out any more lashes, I don't think. By the way, this is by the brand Tweezer Man. This one has not ripped out my lashes. Just thought I'd make that real clear. Now I'm gonna be going in. I'm just really getting ahead of myself. I didn't even tell you what it is yet. I've been really, really, really liking this mascara that was also sent to me. But like, just to be clear, they just send me products. They don't tell me to talk about them or anything, so just thought I'd let you know. This is the Lancome Definicils. Yep, that's exactly how you say it, I'm sure of it. Looks like this. The wand is just really nice, I don't know. It doesn't do anything too heavy to your lashes. So. We just did a nice little light mascara. This is the struggle for me, I'm not gonna put on fake lashes. So as you got, as you guys saw in the intro, the reason that I did such a basic look today um, for finals, cause it's hashtag final season and we're all hashtag crying. My theory is, as I said earlier, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. So, do good <laughs> for all my sisters out there. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, they're like, we're disowning you. Sorry, you got it. You gotta go. Bye. <laughs> and if you guys are confused, Delta Gamma's motto is "Do good." But we're talking about doing good in finals here. So this lip is just really, basically like a clear lip gloss. But if you guys know me, you know I hate sticky lip gloss and this is so not sticky at all. It's just really light and like, if you've ever tried the Kopari lip gloss, it kind of reminds me of that. It kind of smells good. It actually smells like really good. It kind of smells like candy. Oh my gosh. Is that because it's sugar trip? <laughs> oh, it's a lip oil. That's why it's not sticky. Yes, it feels like an oil. They did a good job. This is their hashtag this is everything lip oil and it's in the flavor cranberry mint because it doesn't have a color and it's just really pretty and like really pretty <laughs> and I don't know it just like makes your lips feel good it's very moisturizing like we said before your girl gets really dry so we need all the help we can get and I feel like this would stay on longer than like a chapstick would more moisturizing, so I'm all here for it. So this is going to be the finished finals week look. 
So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. I am praying for you guys throughout this final season and we can all do it together. I believe in all of us. <laughs> I would love it if you would leave me some feedback on my channel, some suggestions, advice you guys have for me down below. It would really, really help me out. If you'd like to join my lovely little family and you haven't already, you can click that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Doe at AmandaLouiseYT. And on Doe, you can use my code SV3T for $5 off with your first purchase. And don't forget to go ahead and join my giveaways that I have going on on my Instagram page right now. I will be starting some more up very, very soon, so go ahead and check me out on there at Amanda Louise YT. I love you guys endlessly, and until the next video, don't forget to live lovely and go and kill them finals. Okay. I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye.